Bino Lasigno, 42 years old for Rob Fuller. Phil Lasigno with a one inch height advantage at five foot nine, opposed to the five foot eight of Rob Fuller. Lasigno coming in at one pound under the catch weight at 149. Rob Fuller at the max at 150. And Lasigno, one inch reach advantage at 68, opposed to Rob Fuller's 67. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from the break. And prepare yourselves for our first professional fight of the evening at a catch weight scheduled for three rounds, five minutes apiece. Brought to you by Drunken Ape Whiskey. Introducing to you first, in the red corner, with a professional mixed martial arts record of 1 and 0. Oh, he stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, and he weighed in at 149 pounds. From Boston, Massachusetts, he's representing Sit Your Tongue. Let's hear it for Phil Bambino Lucido. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, with a record of 2 and 18, he stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, and he weighed in at 150 pounds. From Englewood, Colorado, he's representing Red Shield Boxing. Make some noise for Corn Flakes, Rob Fuller! And the action begins. Our referee in charge of this fight is Kevin McDonald. All right, let's go, man. That's as intense as it gets. The pink and tie-dye trunks for Rob Fuller, the Italian red, white, and green trunks for Phil Locino. Oh, right off the bat, a big right hand to address Rob Fuller's naked leg kick, and he ends up on his back. That caught the kick, landed a right hand, and scored the takedown all in one movement. Exactly where Phil wants to be if he wants to win this fight, in my opinion. The ground is definitely in his advantage. Rob Fuller throwing some strikes off his back here. Might want to use the cage to work up. Forearm elbow there landed for the signal. That was pretty heavy. And the elbows are allowed now. Phil just pressing him against the cage here. He looks like he's heavily pursuing a head and arm choke, trying to get over to that side there. He's trying gonna to be move to the side of the cage, which is going to make it difficult. Yeah, you got to cut an angle with that head and arm choke, and the cage will certainly prevent that angle from getting cut there. But Lucino Maybe to from control. guard. Fuller Maybe. looks distressed. He does. The shoulder pressure is definitely not fun, and you, I've seen guys go to sleep from this kind of shoulder pressure. If you can kind of sink the weight more down in instead of oh. cutting the angle around like he's doing right now. That's a tap that's out. a first round submission for Phil the signal man. Goes with a little Alex Bejera lean back. Phil Bambino Locino with the early takedown and methodically climbing over, advancing position and sinking in the choke. Pitching a shutout, going to 2-0. and oh. Beautiful. Yep. I, we knew that the, uh, you know, a big key to victory for Phil was getting into the ground. He wasted no time. Rob Fuller right up the bat, opening up the leg kick. Phil addresses it, gets him right to the ground while he's off balance, and just stayed on top. Heavy pressure the entire, uh, the entire uh, fight as it lasted. And... Uh, yeah, especially in that position, man, with that, you know, that shoulder pressure into Rob's neck against the cage. Not, not, not a comfortable position there. Yeah, he was choking him before he even was choking him. I think that's why he tapped so fast. Yeah. He was probably already missing some vital blood to the brain. And we know where Rob Fuller is dangerous, and some people may be inclined to strike with him and prove that they can do that. But Phil Signo, smart fighter, dominant. Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for these two. Referee Kevin McDonald has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 25 seconds of round number one, giving you your winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Phil Bambino Lucino.
Yeah, a lot of emotion going on in that cage. I don't know what Rob is trying to say to him. Probably just trying to squash the beef, saying, listen, it's all my antics, blah, blah, blah. I don't think Phil was having any of it. He's a very proud Italian. Bambino Locino remaining undefeated as a pro. Big congrats to that Italian stallion. Yes, sir. Eggplant Parm is waiting at home, I'm sure. 